Okay then, um, hi everybody and welcome. My name is Manisha Jane. I'm a PhD student here at Loughborough University. And uh, before I came to Loughborough, I was a student at the University of Nottingham where I got my bachelor's degree in psychology and my master's degree in, the, in mental health research and practice. So today I'll be doing a presentation on dual task exercise and the role of technology for dementia. So dementia is a problem, and it's not just any old problem. It's a global health and financial challenge. UK models have estimated that 885,000 people were living with dementia in 2019, and this figure was predicted to rise by 80% by 2040. However, rising dementia rates are not only limited to the UK. Dementia grows on a global scale. The World Health Organization has indicated that 50 million individuals have dementia worldwide with 10 million new cases occurring per year. And this translates to about 18 new cases per minute. With increased life expectancies, people are beginning to live longer, and this is known as population aging. The Office for National Statistics indicated that in 2015, people aged 60 and above accounted for 12.3 of the world's population. By 2050, this figure is estimated to go to 21.3%. Alongside population aging, there's also an expected increase in dementia care costs as well. UK projection models have estimated a rise in care costs increasing from £34.7 billion in 2019 to £94.1 billion by 2040. Considering the staggering costs of dementia care, the rises in dementia rates and that there is no cure for dementia, researching preventative strategies is increasingly important to look at ways to prevent or delay the onset of cognitive decline. My research aims to look at one prevention strategy known as dual task exercise, which will look at improving cognitive, imp cognitive functioning for those living with dementia. So dual task exercise in my research will look at combining physical exercises such as aerobic or anaerobic exercises with cognitive activities such as word or numerical tasks. And this can then be, for example, a word task could be naming items in a category while doing exercise or counting in a sequence. Recent findings have shown that dual task exercise actually produces greater cognitive improvement than exercise alone for those with mild cognitive impairment. It was also found that dual task exercise was most effective when the exercise and cognitive task components were done at the same time rather than separately. <coughs> there are also various technologies available which can be used to aid in dual task exercising and examples can include computer programs, iPads and exergaming. Exergaming combines exercises with interactive games. A review of seven studies indicated that exergaming significantly improved cognition for those with dementia and mild cognitive impairment. Furthermore, in a study conducted by Anderson Hanley et al, which looked at a three month clinical trial, looking at the effects of interactive dual tasks with a portable exergame for cognitive functioning for those with mild cognitive impairment. Participants were required to cycle on an under table peddler along a virtual bike path on the exergame. And uh, this was done uh, to complete a list of errands via the game. So after completing this for about 20 to 40 minutes for about three to five times per week for the entirety of the three months, results found improved cognition and memory for those with mild cognitive impairment. So while it's generally accepted that exercise and dual task exercise in particular can improve and benefit cognitive functioning, there have been issues within the methodology of studies itself, which then can lead to the question, does dual task exercise really improve cognition? A lot of the heterogeneity and variance that has been noted across a variety of studies has left authors with uncertainty, and this has impeded their ability to draw conclusions on the effectiveness of dual task exercise. For example, Duetal 2018 noticed variance within the studies included in their review in a variety of design and methodological heterogeneity aspects. 
So the goal of my PhD thesis is to develop home-based dual task exercise guidelines so that people with dementia can exercise safely within their own home and improve their cognitive functioning and therefore have a better quality of life. I want to investigate the role of technology, whether technology is a necessary tool to improve cognition and understand whether older people with dementia actually want technology within their homes. I also want to explore the delivery method of dual task exercises to understand if exercise and cognitive components are best done separately or together. My research can also be applied to the wider context. For example, considering the rising costs of dementia care, home-based dual task exercises, could, even with the use of technology, could be a cost-effective solution, thus reducing the strain on both public and private healthcare budgets. Furthermore, a home setting could potentially reduce uh, the worsening of dementia symptoms such as agitation or confusion by providing the safety of a familiar environment. <clears throat> the guidelines that I develop can also be applied to group settings such as nursing homes, care homes, community programs such as social prescribing, and this can also help to facilitate socialization. And lastly, by engaging in exercise and improving cognition, this can help somebody with dementia to re-establish their independence, autonomy and personhood by creating a better quality of life. So in conclusion, dementia is indeed a growing problem, but by engaging in exercise, we can potentially prevent or delay the onset of cognitive decline and improve cognitive functioning. Technology can be used as a supplemental additive to provide a more innovative, fun way to exercise. However, the issues noted within the research, namely the heterogeneity that's coming across all these variety of studies differing, differing, differing in um, sample sizes and interventions and exercises, this leads to um, issues within the research which require more, more investigation. And this is exactly what I plan to do. Thank you.